fariseo en la noche de preseo, baby. What's good everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's Open Mango here, and today we're going to be doing a PSA Returns video. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn the notification bells on so you know my videos go live, and share the video out with someone who you think might enjoy these PSA Returns. Uh, yeah, I haven't submitted any Beckett or CGC, uh, pretty much exclusively with PSA now, but that might change in the future. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, this was a 20 card submission. Uh, and it has, I think, Pokemon, One Piece, um, Dragon Ball Super, and, and Digimon, I believe. So I see one card there already. That's the front. And this is the back. Oh, got some personal info there. We're going to just dump that onto the side. And yeah, there we go. Uh, I did get a look at these grades, so we'll kind of go through it pretty quickly. Uh, I know you guys got a lot of good stuff going on in the day, and I don't want to hold you up. So here we go. We have our first card here, which is a Platinum Supreme Victors Metagross Hollow, which looks fantastic, actually. The Hollow itself has, like, no uh, scratches or anything like that. This this is a packed fresh pull, but I know it has some imperfections because, uh, yeah, you can see down there some corner nicks. Uh, but, yeah, let's see. This one got an 8. But, yeah, I will take that for an old card. You know, quality control wasn't always the best back then uh, for Pokemon. But, man, that hollow looks so good. The Galaxy Fools. I'm glad they're bringing it back right now with uh, some of the promos that they're doing for Pokemon. Uh, and looks like these are all Pokemon. Okay, we do have another hollow from Platinum Supreme Victors. This is a Swampert level 60. Uh, same thing uh, as the Metagross. Uh, this had... Some corner issues, centering wasn't the best, uh, and this one also got an eight, but I'll, I'll take that. And uh, a lot of these will be on my eBay store, so be sure to check that out. Um, it's just Open Mango on eBay. I, I'm trying to put a link there, and hopefully I can remember to do that, but yeah, if you guys are interested, check it out. I have some pretty good pricing on a lot of the stuff I have on the store. Ooh, we have a Kyogre EX, full art. I don't think this is the secret rare, no, um, but this is from Primal Clash. I opened up a few booster packs, I want to say like two years ago at this point, and this was one of the cards that came out of it. The centering is off right to left, um, and I don't know if it had any sort of like whitening, no, but this did get a mint nine. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's just because of the centering, but beautiful card. Really hard to pull like full hearts from X, Y era. So that was fantastic. And they came out of blisters. I actually bought those blisters from uh, Rusty TCA Gaming. Shout out to you, Rusty. Uh, always bringing in great quality products. One day I'll be like, Rusty, you guys just wait and see. Can't wait to go back like years from now and be like, yeah, remember when I said that in this video? Uh, but we do have a Rayquaza here, full art from Evolving Skies. Look, the card looked pretty good. The centering was good. They didn't, I didn't see any like nicks or stuff. And yeah, this one got a gem mint 10. Fantastic card. Love that art. Next card here, continuing with Pokemon. Hey, we have a Jesse and James full art from Hidden Fates. Opened a bunch of these packs too, and I didn't see any sort of issues on this card. And I think I have a couple more Hidden Fates cards either submitted or in this return as well. So be sure to be uh, keeping an eye out on that. And this one also got a gem in 10. Fantastic. Uh, Hidden Fates, man. Uh, I, I wasn't collecting heavy back then, so uh, I ended up buying a bunch of packs and just kind of ripping them open, and, and this is what came out of them. And I got the packs for a pretty decent price back then. I think they were like eight, six, six, eight, like six, seven, eight dollars, something like that. Ooh, but we do have a Leafeon GX Shiny from Shining Fates, or Shining Fates, Hidden Fates. Beautiful card. I didn't see any issues with this one, and I, yep, this one also got a Gem Mint 10. Definitely going to be on the eBay store, both those uh, Hidden Fates cards. Next one, oh, another from Hidden Fates. Yeah, I had a lot of these just like sitting around, uh, just never got them graded because PSA was a hella backed up back then. 
but we have a ho GX full art and let's see I don't think I saw anything on there either like if you guys see anything let me know but it's pretty clean and it did come back a gem in 10 beautiful card I think I have another ho -Oh GX that I submitted, so we'll see if that comes back at 10 as well. Next, we have a Marnie's Pride from Brilliant Stars. Nice looking card. Full art. Waifu boys, where you at? Shout out CTR. You know, I truly think he is a waifu boy. And this one got another 10. Fantastic. This, these are newer cards, like the Platinum Supreme Victors, obviously, they were significantly older cards. All right, we got a full art. I was kind of surprised about this one. I know that you kind of get this one in, like, all of the, uh, all the tins, or tins, ETBs from Hidden Fades, but I didn't see any issues on here at all, but it got a 9. I don't know if that's just because, like, the centering, maybe, but I don't even know how you'd be able to see that i didn't see any print lines on it let me know if y'all see something i'm not only looking through the camera but like also the card itself i don't know why this one got a nine but hey we still take nines they're mint grades oh we got a charizard v max from shining fates here uh previously graded one of these it came back at 10 and i think this one did as well Yep, there we are. Gem Mint Tense. And I have like two of these. One of them's on my eBay store. Uh, I might hold on to one of these for a while. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Ooh. Now this one's a banger. Got a Raquaza Evolving Skies Ultimate Art V. Wow, that, that was so missaid. Like, Raquaza V Ultimate Art from Evolving Skies. Beautiful card. Love Zinnia in there. And then the Rayquaza art on here. So nice. Personally, I think this one looks significantly better than the VMAX version, but I don't know. Uh, it is off center, right to left. But everything else, other than that, centering is great. But that's, that still held it back from a 10. So we got a 9 on that one. Not bad, not bad. Next card here is now we're getting a Digimon. Oh, well, it looks like we actually do. Oh, okay. I'm going to hold off on this one because I, I submitted an art set of uh, those promos. Uh, but we'll get into this one. This is uh, Karen's Conviction from Matt. Or it says Peerless Fighters, but I, I want to say it's Matchless Fighters. But PSA doesn't recognize Matchless Fighters because I couldn't find that. But this is... A Japanese card. I actually have two booster boxes. Uh, like I bought it when, like before Chilling Rain obviously came out, because I was like, hey, I, I, maybe I want some Japanese product. And I actually have two booster boxes of Shiny Star V and two booster boxes of Mashless Fighters. But yeah, Gem Mint 10, and uh, this is a secret rare in the set. So glad to have that. And you only get one of these in a box, so it could be either Pokemon Trainer or whatever. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I'll have to see here real quick because I don't know what order. Okay, we have Kumamon. Okay. Okay. I'm just wanting to see all the grades together because I don't know if I submitted anything else as far. I think these are all actually just the entire set so is that's Pokemon yep okay so we'll start off with these last two here now these are the promo cards that were in the second anniversary set I believe uh or the frontier card set knocked my camera there uh don't mind that I was trying to move this plastic um but yeah these were like promo cards uh, that came out and they looked amazing. They're like alt alternate arts of the card in the uh, actual TCG. And th they, they came with like six, I believe, or eight. But we have an entire stack here of each of those promos. So we got a 10 on the Pokemon. Nice. If you guys ever watch uh, Frontiers, 
uh, it, it was pretty good in my opinion. Like I, I enjoyed that. I didn't watch it all the all the way through, but I definitely caught most of it. Like I didn't watch every episode. Definitely watched like the end and the beginning, but some of the middle I haven't. But yeah, this is a Nemon. Remember both of them, Pokemon and Nemon, taking care of like that Digi Egg, which happened to be like Patamon, who eventually turned into like Seraphimon. Who? We have a Loimon. This card looks fantastic. And this is a full set. So I think I might be selling this as like a full graded set. We have a gem in 10. Let's go. I love this art on Loimon, especially because like you can see like the eyes. They got like some horizontal shine to them. Beautiful. Next one, I think it's Beetlemon. Yep, Beetlemon. These are all like the spirits. Very nice card. Also, these cards came in pretty great condition. Uh, I've got the other ones all like card savored up. This one also got a gem in 10. Next one is a Kazemon. Beautiful art there. Sparkle, um, sparkle pattern. I forgot exactly what Magic is calling it because they have a very similar one um, or like Hall of Hole patterning. Uh, but we got a Gem in 10 on that, the Kazemon. Beautiful. The next one is a Lobomon. Let's go. When Digivolving uh, effect, this Digimon can Digivolve on Ancient Gururumon into an Ancient Gururumon in your hand for one. For a memory cost of one, ignoring Digivolution requirements, if it does delete this Digimon at the end of your turn. That's crazy, you can go from like a level four to a level six, like right away. Let's look at the back, looks fantastic. Yeah, these cards came out like super clean. Came as a gem mint 10. I think we already saw that, but that's a 10 on the Kumamon too. Love that art, little polar bear. Beautiful. Last but not least is a Goonimon. Like the Agumon, Greymon, uh, War Greymon line of the Frontiers. Tamers. This art looks insane. Like just that intensity and ferocity in his eyes. You can see it like change color. So sick. All right. Also, the back looks pristine. Anything you see is just on the case itself. And this one also got a gem mint in. So every single one of them, like from the Tamers, got a gem mint in. Like that's awesome. But yeah, that that was a fantastic return. Sure. Some of the earlier ones didn't get 10s, but hey, that's how it goes when you're grading cards. Uh, yeah, appreciate you all for sticking around. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn the notification bells on so you know my videos go live. And uh, let me know what you thought of the uh, the unboxing. Uh, I know I love them. And if you, if you guys want to purchase any of these, they'll be on the eBay store, or you can hit me up on Instagram. Have a great rest of y'all's day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.